to see you. Go. It's a bit windy today. Look. Oh. 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 Sorry about that. I did... What's going on up there? How did that get there? God. How did they get there? Hmm. Leaves and a twig. Hmm. That gives me an idea. You can bring the outside inside and try your very own mini tree out of twigs. Let's make it. We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> some cardboard. <laughs> some glue. <laughs> a football. No, I don't think we need this. And some dried peas, beans and lentils. Phew! Whoa! Now, to make your twig picture, like this one here, arrange your twigs onto your cardboard in the shape of a tree. When you're happy with your tree... Are you happy with your tree? I'm very happy with my tree, thank you. <laughs> then stick it down with some glue. Now, stick a blob here, stick a blob there, and leave it to dry. This tree's looking a bit bare. Let's add some leaves. Put a few extra blobs of glue onto your tree and start sticking your peas and beans. Look, I've put peas and beans over the branches to look like leaves. And these lentils and beans look great as the ground. Now, if you want to make a sparkly tree, you could add sequins or glitter. Wow, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? And if you like this idea, you could paint the background as a night sky and make a scary, spooky tree with bats. Bats? I don't like bats. <gasps> oh! Oh no! Why don't you try making a mini tree out of twigs? Oh. <laughs> Who's that snoring? <laughs> These are the shapes. <laughs> ah, they're asleep. I've got an idea. Let's wake them up! <laughs> Rise and shine, come on! <laughs> Take it away!
What are the squares going to make? Can you guess? It's an elephant! Well done, Square! Time to get back on the shelf! <laughs> Do you know I just love those shapes? Hockey here! <laughs> minute make time! Minute make time! It's minute make time! Right, this is what we're going to make today. Alien eyes. Funny eyes you can wear on your head. Take me to the reader. <coughs> Only joking. Yeah. Now, to make these alien eyes, you will need two cake cases from your kitchen, like that, two long pipe cleaners, a pen, a plastic hairband. Do you think it suits me? <coughs> no? Oh, OK. And some sticky tape. Now, do you think we can make these alien eyes in a minute? No way! Really? Oh. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to move very quickly, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it all at the end. Are you ready? Let's make it in a minute! Right, OK, let's get the plastic hairband first and a pipe cleaner. Now, this bit's a bit fiddly. Watch, you twist once and twist again so it's nice and secure. And then do the same with the other pipe cleaner. Here we go. Twist and twist again so it's nice and secure. Right, move back to the side and get the cake cases. These are going to be eyes, so we need to draw on black dots. Here we go. There's one black dot there. And there's two black dots. Now, do these look like eyes? Do they? Do they? Of course they do. Right, let's stick them on then. My granny can go quicker. I'm going as quick as I can. Keep your feathers on. Right, a bit of tape there and a bit of tape there. Flip it over and let's stick them down. There's one and there's two. There we go. I've done it. Only just. That was close. Phew. And if you've got more than a minute, you can colour in the eyes any colour you like. The weirder, the better. Ooh. Or how about trying three eyes? Hilarious alien eyes made in a minute. Why don't you try it? And here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Get a pipe cleaner and twist the ends of it around the hairband on one side. Do the same on the other side and draw two eyes on the cake cases. Stick the cake cases onto the ends of the pipe cleaners and you've got alien eyes. Why don't you try to make it in a minute? <laughs> Hello, Mr Baker. Guess what we're making today? Oh, I don't know. Let's have a look. <laughs> I'm Ori. I'm green. I'm yellow. Well done, everyone. See you next time. Now it's time to frame it. Frame it. Frame it. Now have a look at this. 
This treasure map is great. It looks really old, doesn't it? And guess what? You can get that effect by using a tea bag. It's really easy to do, but looks so good, you'll want to frame it. You'll need some white paper, some wax crayons, and a tea bag. Start off by drawing a really simple map, and then add some details. I've added a palm tree, a treasure chest, and of course, where X marks the spot. And don't forget, a map's no good to a pirate unless it has a compass. <laughs> Sorry. Then take your wax crayons and colour in the picture. It's looking good already. Now for the fun bit. Take a cold, wet tea bag and rub it over your picture. Next, scrunch your picture into a ball. But don't worry, you're not going to ruin it. Unscrunch it again and let it dry. It's the crumples in the paper that will make your map look really old. What a great idea! Your very own ancient-looking treasure map. <laughs> what a great way of making a really clever picture. Now all that's left to do is... Frame it! I love making pictures out of all sorts of things. So, let's make a picture out of... Sweets! Whoa! It's a beautiful merry-go-round. What, what on earth? What, what, what's going on? Wow! A steam train! Oh, oh. <coughs> oh, this gives me an idea. A fantastic steam train made out of an empty crisp tube and some cardboard boxes. And you can keep your pens and pencils inside it. <coughs> Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers. An empty cardboard crisp tube and its lid. Two old toothpaste boxes. An empty tea or coffee box. Piece of cardboard like this. Some sticky white PVA glue. Some paint. Some smelly socks. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no, we don't want those. <sighs> and some lids. Whew. Oh, now to make your steam train pencil holder, like this one here, get your two toothpaste boxes and put them together like this. Then get your crisp tube and very carefully place it on top. Stay, that's it. Now let's get the other box and put that towards the back and put the piece of cardboard on top of that. There. Now, making sure that the open end of the tube is at this end, we can glue it all together. Now it's all dry, but our train needs wheels. Ooh. These lids look good. Nice. Let's stick three along the bottom like this. Hmm, 
something's missing. Hmm. Oh, wrong drawer. Wrong drawer again? That's what we need. A flat lid to make a whistle and a tall lid to make a chimney. <coughs> oh, that's better. Now, let's stick our tall lid to the front of the train and our flat lid to the back of the train. Now you can paint your train any colour you want. You could use green for the tank. This is fantastic. Take a look. I've done red for the roof, the whistle and the chimney and I've painted the bottom part of the train black. Now we can add a few finishing touches with a black felt tip pen. You can add a window, some nuts and bolts, and even some spokes to the wheels. And what's more, it's great for keeping your pens and pencils in. Look. Right. All aboard! Oh, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. See you soon. It's time to put all this stuff back in its box. If you like making things like Mr Maker, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash cbeebies for more ideas.